This is a 360 degree video. To look around, swipe left or right on your mobile device, click and drag on your desktop, or if you're wearing VR goggles, simply look around like you normally would. Just make sure to have fun. Have you ever wondered how a potato gets from the soil of a farmer's field into a bag of your favorite flavor of potato chips? Well, you're in the right place to discover the answer. In this video, we're going to follow a potato from the field to the chip factory, learning all there is to know about making potato chips from potatoes grown in Ontario. Ready? Let's go. Here we are on an Ontario potato farm. As you can see, it's summertime and these potatoes are growing strong as they always have in Ontario. Potatoes are Ontario's largest fresh vegetable crop and the second largest processing crop. The first is tomatoes. Potatoes have been grown in Ontario since the mid 1700s. Today, there's about 37,000 acres of potatoes grown in Ontario. For context, an acre is about the same size as an arena hockey rink. Put 37,000 of those together and that's a lot of potatoes. Potatoes are planted in the spring, typically in April and May, using tractors and special planting machinery. They need lots of sunlight during the day, a good amount of rain and cool nights in order to grow properly before they're harvested, which starts any time from July to October. Speaking of rain, some fields receive more rain than others, depending on where they're located. This means some farmers will use a process called irrigation to make sure their potatoes are getting enough water. This is what an irrigation system looks like. You may have seen something like this before as you drive by a potato field on a highway. Irrigation systems are large automated sprinklers that water the potatoes when there isn't enough rain. Each section of the system is divided into banks of sprinklers, like the ones you can see here. The farmer controls when the sprinkler system turns on and how much water is used to water the crop. Irrigation systems are on wheels so they can be moved to different spots in the field, making sure the entire crop gets watered equally. Once the hot, dry summer months have passed, these potatoes will be harvested by the farmer and seasonal agriculture workers using specialized equipment. Since potatoes are grown underground, the equipment has a lot of work to do, including digging up the potatoes and separating them from their stem, as well as dirt and stones, but without bruising or damaging the potatoes. Did you know potatoes can be stored in proper conditions for almost a full year? Once harvested, about one-third of potatoes go directly to market, while the other two-thirds are stored in on-farm, temperature-controlled storage facilities. This ensures consumers have Ontario-grown potatoes all year round, and also ensures there are always potatoes to make potato chips all year round. That's where we're heading now. Here we are at an Ontario potato chip processing facility. Let's see how potatoes turn into potato chips. The first step in the process is to unload the potatoes. Potatoes are brought from the farm to the chip factory inside special bins in a transport truck. As you can see here, the bins are angled so that potatoes are unloaded onto the conveyor belt in a consistent fashion. Even though the potatoes have already been washed and checked for debris, they're washed again once they're inside the chip facility. Here you can see potatoes being put into a very large gravity bin. In other words, bins that use gravity to move the potatoes onto the processing line. The potatoes go through a light water bath, then are sprayed with water one final time to ensure they're clean. Then they come out onto the first of many conveyor belts, where a facility employee is waiting to slice overly large potatoes in half and remove any damaged or rotten potatoes that may have gotten through undetected. The conveyor carries the potatoes up into a large peeling machine to remove the skin of the potatoes. Then they're put through the slicing machine. After slicing, the potatoes are moved into a fryer using water. Putting them into water before cooking helps to remove excess starch, which can make the chips soggy. The chips are fried in large vats of canola oil that's kept at around 378 degrees Celsius. Here you can see the potatoes have been turned into chips. 
They're now moving through a quality control system, which uses special photographic equipment to check for overcooked chips. If one is found, it is automatically removed from the conveyor. The next step after frying is seasoning. What's your favorite flavor of potato chip? Chances are this facility makes them. There are several different flavors of chips made at the same time at this facility. It takes about 30 minutes for the chips to go from the initial light wash to a packaged potato chip. Buckets attached to conveyor belts move the freshly fried potato chips up to the seasoning area. The flavor of seasoning will depend on the customer order being filled, but it could be anything from salt and vinegar to barbecue to seasoned kettle chips. Chips are moved into the seasoning barrel by conveyor belt. The barrel rotates slowly while seasoning is applied to the chips from a stationary spout in the center. The rotation is used to evenly distribute the seasoning and coat each chip in enough flavor. Once the chips are seasoned, they are gently moved onto a distributor to be packaged into the appropriately sized chip bag. Each bag is packaged and sealed according to weight. The weights of each bag per order are predetermined, so the machines automatically recognize whether a bag is too heavy or too light. Once the correct amount of chips are in the bag, the bag is sealed and put onto another conveyor belt for box packaging. If the machine finds a bag of chips with the wrong weight, the bag is moved off the packaging line and reopened so the chips can be put into another bag. Once packaged in the proper bag, the chips are automatically packaged into a larger cardboard box. Employees stack the boxes of chips onto wooden pallets, which are then shrink-wrapped to keep the boxes from falling over during transport. Employees move the pallets of chips into the holding area, where forklifts move them further into the shipping area. More forklifts then fill a transport truck with pallets of freshly baked potato chips which are then shipped to stores, businesses, and other organizations across the province that sell potato chips. Thank you for coming along on this journey to learn how potatoes turn into potato chips. If you'd like to learn more about Ontario potatoes, please click on the other videos in this section.